Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday. Today, I'm going to drop some knowledge on you. All right, fishy folks, today we're going to talk about why do we change water in our fish tanks and how much should I change? Of course, this is a Facebook semi-rant. It's really not a rant. It's not. I'm telling you. It might turn out to be, so stand by. So, I was on Facebook, checking out all the, the groups, as I usually do, trying to help people if I can, and somebody posted, I think it was Tank Talk, that said, how much water should I change and why? And I answer with my standard answer that is, when your water reaches a predetermined amount of nitrates, that's when you change your water and I recommend 50%. And someone said, you should never change. Oh no, she said uh, 20% a week. And I said, why? And she said, you never need to change more than 20%. And before I answered, I asked her why, but before she could answer, like a hundred people jumped on her back and was like, that's not really good advice because every situation is different. What if it's a heavy stock tank? Discus breeders and discus keepers, you know, change 100% of the water in their tank sometimes, daily. So I thought this is a good topic for a video. So here we are. So how much water do you change in your tank and why is the question? And in order to answer it, we need to know a little bit more about fish keeping. As an example, the cycle, the nitrogen cycle. If you're not sure what that is, I'm gonna give you a little dumbed down version of it because I'm not that bright. So fish in an aquarium pee and poop. That pee and poop turns to ammonia, which even in small doses like 0.25 parts per million starts to become toxic to fish. Your fish will get stressed starting at 0.25 parts per million. But there's this fancy thing called bacteria that changes that ammonia into nitrite. Nitrite is also toxic to your fish, even in small doses, starting at 0.25 parts per million. But then there's another fancy bacteria that takes that nitrite and changes it to nitrate. Notice how I stress the it and the eight, because they're very different. Nitrate in high doses, we're talking 40, 60, 80 parts per million or more, is toxic to fish. Not even as toxic as ammonia and nitrite, but toxic. So how do we get rid of the nitrite? Because I'm sorry, the nitrate, because there's no bacteria that takes care of that. Water changes. That's how we do it. That's why we change water for the most part, is to get rid of the nitrate. There are other reasons. We're not getting into that. We're keeping it simple today, folks. Okay. So how much water do you change? First of all, let's go back. How do I know how much nitrate is in my water? Do you taste it? No, you'll probably get the runs. Do I take a sample to my local fish store? Sure. If your local fish store does free water testing, that is certainly an option. Take a clean container, maybe an old deli cup or something, an old you know, glass jar, jelly jar, pickle jar, whatever it might be. Fill it with water, bring it to your local fish store. They'll test it. If your local fish store tells you the water is fine, ask more questions. What does fine mean? In parts per million, what is the ammonia? Nitrite, nitrate. Now they may also test pH and hardness and some other stuff, but for this conversation, all we wanna know is about the nitrite, nitrate, and ammonia. Stand by. Caramel Frappuccino, double star day. Sorry. <clears throat> Where was I? Local fish store. Ammonia, nitrite, nit nitrate. That's what you want to know. They should be 0, 0, and 20 to 40 parts per million. Anything higher than that, than those numbers, and you need to start reevaluating how much water you change and when. Now, if you have ammonia and nitrite, it means your tank probably isn't cycled. If it is cycled, something happened. Excess ammonia could be a dead fish. Uh, could be your filter's not working properly. Same thing with nitrite. Could be too much food, filter's dirty. Some of those things to look for. 
excess nitrate means you're not changing enough water. Let's keep it simple. You go to the local fish store, they don't do free water testing. You wanna know how to test your own water. You wanna be your own person and test it yourself. There's two ways that I know how and two ways that I do it. And the first is the easy way, which is with these Tetra test strips. There's a six in one here and this is ammonia here. By the way, there are links in the description below if you wanna check these out on Amazon. If you do buy something after clicking that link, I do make a little bit of uh, money and all that money is going towards a new camera. I really want a new camera. Um, so I'm saving up for a new camera. So click those links, help me buy a camera. Yeah. Tetra test strips, very easy. I've never used another brand. I've never used API or any one of the other brands. I only have used Tetra. You may hear test strips are for newbies or test strips aren't accurate. As far as I'm concerned, they're accurate enough for what I'm doing. So how does a test strip work? It's pretty simple. You open the container, you take your test strip out. This is a six in one, looks like that. You dip it in the water. When you're done, you read it with this fancy color chart. When you're done with that, you take the ammonia test strip, ammonia separate. I believe ammonia is separate because one of the chemicals, either the chemical in here or one of the chemicals in the other one on the strip makes the ammonia um, unreliable if they mix. I could be making that up. I have really have no idea, but I heard that somewhere, I think. So you need a separate ammonia test strip. Keep in mind these test strips do expire. As an example, this expired in December. Oh, and this expired in March. Now, would I still use them? Yeah, in a pinch I would still use them. But to be honest, you can see how often I've changed my water. I or I checked my water. I don't need to. I only check water when there's a problem. If I see, you know, established tank and a couple fish die or one fish die, I usually test the water. Usually, not always. Anywho. The other way to test water is with a liquid test kit. The most popular being the API Master Kit, which comes in a case like this, nice handy dandy container. You think the test strips are old? The last time I used this was, I, it's gotta be at least a year, but there's a little booklet with instructions and here's your color code on the back. And I don't know if you can see how close some of those colors are. They're very difficult uh, for guys with bad eyes like me to tell the slight difference between zero and 0.25 parts per million. That's why test strips to me are just as accurate as this because the colors are a little bit different, more different between measurements. You know what I mean? Good, can I explain it? So anyway, here's a test tube. You fill it up with five milliliters of water. I like to use a syringe uh, my wife's a nurse, so the saline syringes, she brings home all the time by accident. Clean one of them out, and that's how I fill the, my things up. Then you add the drops of the whatever test you're doing. Then you shake it. Then you let it sit for a certain amount of time, and then you read it. And then you know how much ammonia nitrate nitrite you have. Really, it's nitrite nitrate. That's how you always should do it. I want to put this down now. Let's just see when these expire, shall we? Uh, the date is worn off. Let me try another one. Worn off too. We'll just, probably not good anymore. Okay, now you've learned how to test your water and now you have, you know that in approximately seven days, your water goes from an acceptable level of nitrate to 20 parts per million and that's when you wanna change water. Great, how much water do you change is your next question. My recommendation, 50%. Why 50%? That will lower, theoretically, that will lower your nitrate from 20 parts per million to 10 parts per million. Assuming there's no nitrate in your water. It's another thing you should test for if you're into fish keeping, test your tap water. You'd be surprised sometimes. If your tap water doesn't have nitrate in it, great, now you've lowered your nitrate 50%, down to 10 parts per million. Now, test your water every couple days. When it reaches 20 parts per million, change 50% again. When you change your water, the most important thing is try to make it the same temperature or close to the same temperature as your tank and make sure you add dechlorinator. I like to use uh, Seachem Safe, 
Links in the description below. You may want to use Prime. I use Safe. It's the powder form of Prime. Um, but in if you have lower, oh, I like to use Seachem Prime in tanks that aren't on my auto water change system. Prime is very stinky, but it does a great job of dechlorinating water, takes out chloramines, uh, absorbs heavy metals, and does some other fancy stuff. Again, links in the description below for Seachem Prime. I also use Seachem Safe, which is the powder form. You may not want to use that. So, now you know how to test your water, why we test for water, why we do water changes, and how much water I recommend to change. I recommend when you're done watching this video, you go ahead and research this yourself. I'm just a dumb guy making videos in my basement. You should be able to research why you change water and how much water to change on your own and make your own decision as to what works for you. 20 parts per million nitrate is kind of the, a good rule of thumb, but maybe your fish are more sensitive and you wanna change it more frequently or change more water more frequently, up to you. If you guys have any questions, do me a favor, send me an email, michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. I will do my best to answer them. Go ahead and check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com, if you want to buy any of the fish I breed in my basement fish room. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Well, hello, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday. Today, I'm going to drop some knowledge on you. All right, fishy folks, we're gonna talk about how to change water. No, we're not. Hello, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday. And today, I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you.